Hello, so I thought I'd make a quick little video. Um, I've got into photography a little bit more and um, and yeah, I thought I'd show you what I tend to carry with me for, for general shoots. Um, it's probably overkill a lot of the time, but you know, I like to be prepared um, with what I've got. So I do apologize if the audio and whatever is a bit different. I'm filming on my phone uh, because obviously I'm gonna show you my camera and stuff. Um, so uh, let's have a look in my bag. So here is everything kind of shoved into my camera bag. Um, I shall, obviously, I tend to take my big backpack with me. Um, I do take this Canon bag out sometimes when I'm not taking as much stuff. Uh, I've just kind of kept it all together here. Um, so yes, so let's start. So my camera of choice um, is the 700D. I've had it for a few years now. Uh, I know it's not the most high end of cameras, um, but it does the job for me um, and I absolutely love it. So on this I have this strap um, which I got off Amazon. It's just a generic kind of wrist strap um, because the long straps really annoy me uh, and that's great for just holding. Uh, now on the bottom here I have a, um, a battery grip which allows me to have two batteries in. Uh, it also has the buttons there and I also have a trigger button there. So if I do want to shoot portrait um, I can I can do that um, so that's my general camera now lens wise I've just recently bought let's take it off so you can see it just recently bought this one if it will focus the, um, the Canon 24mm pancake lens uh, absolutely love it because on this camera it doesn't really act like a 24 with the crop factor um, so I can get fairly wide shots it, it's kind of my all-round go-to lens now also it goes down to f 2.8 which okay it's not really low but um allows a really high sorry um as opposed to aperture it doesn't go amazingly wide like obviously i know there's 1.8s out there um but it's great for most stuff um i also have with me the bog standard 18 to 55 all-round pretty decent lens i mean it's the kit lens um uh, it does only go down to uh, f4.5 i believe when you are at 18 mil obviously it drops um the higher you get um so you know if i'm using the speed light or stuff and i want a versatile thing and i'm not sure what i'm going to be shooting um I, I sometimes just shoot with the uh, with the kit lens on um the other lens i have is the canon 50 mil now this is a 1.8, which is great. Um, it's a little bit plasticky, it is the cheaper one. Uh, and the autofocus is very noisy, so I never really use it for video. I tend to use it more for B-roll or if I want really blown out background, you know, and really artistic shots. Um, it's not a bad little lens. Like I say, it feels cheap, um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent. Um, obviously with it being a 50 mil, <clears throat> um, I believe it's more like a uh, is it 65, 70, something like that with the crop factor. Um, so I suppose that's closer to an actual 50 mil kind of crop um, than than this one, which is why I now prefer this one. It's great. Um, so there, that's my general camera setup. Now here I have the, um, the New Air Speedlight. It is fully manual, um, as you can see, fully manual. Um, it can be used as like an optical slave um, but other than that it's got no like ETTL or anything in it nothing fancy um, however it does have the tilting head um, it has the uh, bounce card and the diffuser built in which is nice I did get that really cheap I think it was about £20 I got it from like a cash converse or something because uh, I did buy another flash uh, but it was only ETTL and it only tilted forward and backwards um so i just picked that one up i am going to be replacing it soon and i will tell you why in a second because my other new toy i did buy in here is the godox x2t trigger um now this is great because it does have uh, an autofocus light on the front i say autofocus light it's actually a laser beam shines a nice little grid Great for focusing in low light. Uh, this can be controlled via Bluetooth. Not sure why you'd want to, but it has all the um, 
groups on. Obviously, I can still use my um, that flash on top. Now I'm going to upgrade the flash to uh, one that has the Godox X system wireless built into it um, because it is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless. So I'll be able to use that um, like the new speed light off camera. Now at the moment, if I want to use this one off camera, um, I just use in here curled up along with my spare um, IKEA rechargeable batteries. Great value. Had no problems with them so far. Um, always keep plenty of spares for the speed light and the, the trigger. Uh, so yeah, this I use, um, it's just a really long um, sync cable, um, which means if I want to, you know, move this off camera somewhere, can't go too far. I think the cable is probably only like 1.52 meter or something like that. Um, but it does the job for the moment. And I have the diffuser, the big diffuser I can stick on the, uh, the top of there. Um, and you may notice, if I can get this on with one hand, you may notice that there's, why won't it fit on? There we go. You may notice that there's some Velcro that just fits just underneath like where that goes. That is for, um, when I bought this, they included randomly um, this um, weird little um, gel holder. So what I do is, it's gonna be difficult with one hand, is I stick that over there like that. So obviously that covers that, that Velcro's nicely. And in this little section here, I have a range of gels um, for if I wanna gel it up. And then what happens is there's a little slot there and I just take them out of there and slide them into there. Um, so that is very nice to uh, to kind of get a bit more, you know, to get some, some different, different types of shots, especially if I wanna light up a background with that off camera. You know, I can add a bit of colour to plain backgrounds. So that is my uh, that is my kit. Hope you enjoyed that. I do have some other little bits of video. I've got an LED panel light that goes on the top of the camera. I've got Rode Video Mic Go, I think it is. Not the really small one, um, but it's the one that doesn't need batteries or anything. Um, so that plugs straight in and sticks on top. I do have kind of a V mount for the shoe on top of the camera, which means I can use the light and the um, the microphone at the same time, which is great. Um, and I also have, um, obviously, a tripod, although I need to upgrade that. That's probably the next thing I'm gonna upgrade because my tripod's a really cheap one. It's pretty light, but not the most sturdiest things. Uh, and then also I have a kind of um, scorpion rig for when I'm doing video to get kind of stable um, footage. And uh, and yeah, I did buy a proper shoulder rig, you know, like, um, like a rail system with a follow focus and, and a map box and stuff like that. But to be honest, I've not found much use for it at the moment. Um, my aim was to rig it out. If I wanted to do some, you know, really nice video stuff, I could stick it on there. Um, but I've not quite worked out where I'm going with that. Because um, if you don't know about the rig system, the rails, they're kind of standard size and you can add different things on. Like mine had a shoulder mount, it's got handles, uh, the follow focus, the map box. You know, you can add different mounts and you know so if you want to stick a monitor on there or another light or your microphone or you know it's it's kind of modular so hopefully in the future i'll build that up and possibly make a video um about that anyway hope you enjoyed my brief little tour of my equipment and uh, i'll see you next time